Welcome back to the Backpacker Coach. Today I have something really, really special for you guys. Um, <clears throat> as you know, we've been going over um, the ongoing saga of Chris Kramers and Lisanne Froon. And uh, we have been going over, um, all I know, all the different things um, with uh, what was wrong with the case. Um, today, uh, we're going to go over the night photos and I have something really, really, really exciting to show you that I cannot wait to show you. So let's get into this. I am just dying to show you this amazing thing. So I was looking through the photographs, flipping through the different ones, and I came across these first two. And if you look at the second one, I was looking and I'm like, hey, that looks kind of strange. It looks like the same photo, but upside down. If you look here, and you look here, you see the same images. So we're going to get rid of this, and we're going to put it where it's supposed to go. And you can see now that lines up here and here. So those are the first two that I happen to see. Now the odd thing about this is that the way the way it's turned nearly turned upside down that would mean that somebody had to turn their hand all the way like upside down to take the picture which obviously is not right. So something's a little weird there. Why do you why would you have to turn your hand all the way upside down? Like this. So that doesn't make sense. So the next part, I'm gonna show you how I built the majority of, of all this. So we're gonna start with this picture here and we're going to start with this picture here so you see this one this little guy this one was also completely upside down and you can see this little um, these two figure these plants right here well these plants are this plant and this plant right here and this little tiny part right here is this little tiny part right here. So we're going to get rid of this. And so you can see, bigger, you can see those are the same, same plants right here. And sorry to disappoint you, but this is a leaf, not a picture of one of the girls dead in the bottom of a canyon somewhere. That is, those are leaves. Okay, so next, let's see here. Next is this picture here. And so we're going to take this one. You can see this right here is the same leaf as this here. And the only part is that it's and this leaf here is the same as this leaf right here. And these, all right, is this right here. So we're gonna take this one. And we're gonna put that one there. So that attaches to there. And then next is See here, this one. So this one, obviously you can see, is the majority of this part over here. You can see these little plants here match this. The same leaf matches the same leaf here, as well as this matches this part right here.
So let's see here, there's this. And that's going to go there. Okay, so you can see, see how that matches. That matches exactly perfect to that. Then you have Oopsie, one's here. Where'd I go? This one here. So this one, this, you know these two leaves again, and this little bush? Well, guess where those are again? It's those same two leaves. It's this leaf and this leaf, and this little tiny bit of bush right here. So we're going to take this we're going to put that where that's supposed to go. Okay. So now you can see this is the famous part of the, the Y that you see that everybody is talking about that when they're taking a bunch of different pictures up, looking up, this is the Y. So that correlates with that you can see I need to move that back over there we go there we go now we're lined up see it's the same same two leaves right there Okay. Then we have the famous picture of the strap and the pieces of paper. And of course, you can guess where this goes because of those three little leaves and that little stick thing sticking out. Well, that, just close this for a second. That is that, those three little leaves is that right there. So, I'm going to get rid of that. And we're going to put that, here we go. This is the first mind blowing one. So there you go. Now, what do we have here? Now all of a sudden, we realize that this you can see it a little better matches up a little better when you do when you close this, but Now, now we can tell we are sideways because this needs to be flat. So we're going to go to the next part here. And this is where I actually, what I did was I was able to take um, some of those pictures and, and put them into Photoshop and stitch them together. And it was able to figure it out. And then I took a couple of those others and put them together. So this is the that little part down there with the strap and all that stuff. This all matches exactly everywhere we're supposed to go. So that is where I thought, all right, good. Um, I had all the pictures all matched up except for these two. And I did not know where these go, and I could not figure it out. And then all of a sudden, um, I was going to um, a couple different, you can see how this, I'll show you this for a second, you can see how that, the 
this little part matches up to this part. Then you can also, if you pay attention right through here, it's extremely wet. You can see the shiny little rocks right through here. <clears throat> so um, I was checking out a YouTube video that I had seen before and I noticed something in the way they put it together that was kind of, we'll call it the missing link. So we're back to this picture again. And the picture that they had, part of the, one of the pictures they had in there was this one. You can see how this matches up. Let me zoom up a little bit. This matches the Y. You see the Y here in this stick. So that matches that. And then they had this one in here. That matches the Y and then matches these bushes over here. And then I looked at this. I'm like, oh my gosh. Do you remember what this is from? This is from this. This is the rock. So now, prepare to have your mind blown. This is a cave. If you can tell, this right here, if you look, all this is all dry. This is an overhang. This is dry. And this is also seems to be pretty dry. And you are looking out into a big open space, but you are inside a cave. Why does it look like it would be a cave? Because this is all dry and yet it's raining. So you must be covered by some sort of an orang or some be in some sort of a cave. So that would explain why her hair is completely um, dry. It's because they both, uh, Lisanne and Chris, I believe this is where were captured somewhere. They were brought here and this is where they took this picture. And also you can see a little bit of hair somewhere inside this cave. This is where they were killed and this is where they were dismembered. And then they took them to where down somewhere and then they cart off a couple of parts of their body and drop them off wherever they needed to. But this is obviously a cave. That is amazing. Now we finally know where this fits in. But then you're like, well, what the heck? Why is this? We always thought that this was like some sort of big flat rock. And, but what I believe this stick probably was just hanging down and then they just stuck a couple pieces of that plastic on it. You can also tell that now this makes sense. There's a little chip in the rock and that's hanging or they stuck it in that little spot right there. So it would sit there. And then there's also probably another crack right here. So they stuffed whatever those little pieces of paper in there. But that stick is just probably hanging down. Um, into over this rock. 
the crazy, the real question is, why don't they, we have the rest of the pictures that would be able to finish off this area to be able to figure out what is going on here? They said they had over, they took over 90 pictures. Well, obviously we don't have all 90 pictures. So where is the rest of these pictures? Do they only give us these pictures just to make sure that we couldn't figure out that this was a cave? Well, now we figured out this is a cave. What the bad guys didn't realize is that being <laughs> that you're able to lighten up all the pictures, you can still be able to piece this all together. That is something that the bad guys, when they were taking these pictures, did not realize that. And so we figured it out. We finally figured it out. We finally pieced it together, and now we know where all these pictures go. So some people thought that this image, 542, was from this Cascade place. They would have been sitting up here, I guess. Obviously, um, we know that that's not the case now because they're thinking that this is something that was flat, like looking down, which we know now that it's not flat. It's more of the side of a wall. It's not something flat. It's not down here. So we know it can't be looking down something flat. There's no cave. There's no round opening. Nothing. So that disproves that. As well as they used to think that this was some sort at the other rock that was at a monkey bridge. Well, I don't know why somebody thought that they saw lines running through this picture because there are no lines, no wires running through this picture at all. Somebody was just trying to, I think, throw off people um, just to, you know, throw people off because we know now this, there is no um, cave at the monkey bridge. So that disproves that completely right there. We know that there's no cave at the monkey bridge. Um, we know that this is a cave and we are closer, one step closer to understanding what happened to um, Chris and Lisanne. So, thanks for thanks for checking this out. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and uh, leave your comments below. Let me know what you think.